Hello, um, I know I haven't made a video in about a week or so. Um, so here you go. Um, I'm going to be talking about a few things this video. Uh, as some of you might know, I'm probably <laughs> most likely going to get uh, married soon in uh, October. Um, I don't really know what to talk about that, uh, what I should say, or whatever, um, I guess, uh, I can tell you guys we're getting married in a graveyard, um, and it's a graveyard that we have investigated when we were doing the uh, paranormal uh, research group and a lot of stuff happened there it has a church we investigated the church um, it was built in the early 1800s I believe and um, yeah if somebody wants me to do a video about that I can do that later on. Uh, I won't go too much into that, but if somebody wants me to make a video about it, I will. Um, let's see. Sorry for the lighting is so bad. Uh, you can hardly tell that my makeup is like red and stuff. Um, let's see. Uh, body modifications. I was going to talk about that because uh, I was telling my friends some things and a lot of people I know don't exactly understand what things are uh, and how they work. I was talking about wanting to get a microdermal third eye which would basically be about where the biggest dot I drew the dots on crooked on accident. Uh, biggest dot is, or probably maybe a little higher, maybe about right here. For those of you who do not know what a microdermal is, it is basically a piercing that goes under your skin and has a little um, anchor, uh, I guess you would say, to keep it into your skin. They poke a hole, uh, slide it in. They're not too terribly hard to get out. Um, it's not exactly like a piercing because a piercing, um, you know, goes through, has a bar or a ring or whatever that can just slide out of your skin. This is actually like poking a hole and putting something inside um, and your skin heals around it. Um, I really want to get a microdermal third eye, but um, they can get infected just like any piercing and have an infection just like a tattoo, but when you have it on your forehead or um, your skull, it can, if you get an infection, it can like eat through your skull if it's bad enough. Um, but that is very rare. I think there's only been just a few cases of that happening. And uh, it's just really rare for it to happen. But I'm the type of person that worries a lot. Um, and so I've never really had a bad infection from a piercing or tattoo or anything. Uh, I have 13 piercings and six tattoos and I've, I've only had a complication once with stretching my ears. Um, and I didn't like, you know, rip them or whatever. I was stupid. I was younger and I put like bolts in my ears. 
and uh, sorry, computer screen went off. I put bolts in my ears and they got infected. I was really stupid. I shouldn't have done it. Uh, the infection went away within like two days, but uh, I took my, uh, I guess what a lot of you call them, uh, gauges out and uh, they closed up. They went from a double zero to like a 12 in two days, two or three days. So I've been having to uh, restretch them. So, um, another body modification that I really want and I've been wanting for years is I want to get my ears pointed. Uh, ear point, ear pointing is basically you have elf ears, and uh, they cut a little piece of the top of your ear right here, um, shape it, and then they like push it together and stitch it together, and then you have pointed ears. Uh. Yeah, there's few parts of my body that I don't like, and one of them is my ears. And I think that way, I don't know, boost my self-confidence or whatever, and make me feel a little better about myself. And plus, I've always liked fantasy and things like that, and I think elf ears would be adorable. <laughs> Um, my problem is with that right now is a matter of money and time. I was going to have someone do them, but I would have had to drive to Columbus from Cincinnati on a weekday, and that just wasn't going to happen. Um, what else? I think that's about it. This has been a pretty long video. Oh yeah, somebody wanted me to talk about my tattoos. Um, you guys have all seen the tattoos that I already have. And I did sort of get my heart finished. It's colored in more. Uh, oh, and I made this shirt. Has like grommet straps. Anywho, um, I'm probably gonna get a spider web around the heart and try to make um, a sort of chest piece. And maybe put some like cute little skulls in it. Um, there's a lot of tattoos that I want and that I'm going to get. For those of you who know me in real life, for my family, because I know you guys watch these, I am living for me. I know that sounds like an incredibly selfish thing to say, but my philosophy is don't care about about what other people think of you. If you live your life wanting the approval of others and not doing things just because other people don't approve of it, at the end of the day, at the end of your life, you will be incredibly disappointed and you will be very regretful. I do not want to waste my life and I do not want to waste my time here in this world by wanting the approval of others because even when you know I wasn't 
getting tattoos. Because I got my first tattoo when I was 20. Even then, sorry, computer screaming off again, I need to move around the house. Um, even then, people didn't accept me. And they're going to, no matter what, be people that won't accept you for who you are. Even if you're com completely normal. Um, I'm not going to waste my life. I'm not going to waste my time to my family, my friends. I love you guys. And I'm going to get tattoos and piercings and whatever I want. And I do think a lot before I do any of them. Any at all. Because uh, they're forever. Unless you have a lot of money, you get it reversed. Uh, but I'm doing what makes me happy. What makes me feel good about myself. And if you can't accept that, if you can't see that this is making me feel better about myself, making me feel whole, making me feel like the Emily that I was always meant to be, I'm sorry. I can't do anything to make you change your mind. Um, but this is what I'm going to do. And I, I love you. I, I hope that you accept me for what I'm doing and accept me for me. But I can't do anything to make you feel differently. I guess you have to, it's something you have to get used to. Um, it's sad to say, like, people who want tattoos and even have tattoos and stuff tell me, I don't, I don't think that's something you should do. It's being a hypocrite. Please don't be a hypocrite. Just try to understand. And uh, this is for other people um, that are going through, I guess, the same situation with a loved one or even someone who's having the same issues as I am of being accepted. Uh, so, I'm sorry if that seemed like a rant or something, but I hope you watch this video. I know this is a longer one, going over 10 minutes now. But I love, I love you guys, and uh, I hope everyone's doing well. And talk to you later. Bye.